welcome and welcome. I hope you had an amazing week. I know I did. This week we're looking at judgment. I'm sure most of you or some of you may have heard that biblical verse, judge lest ye be judged. If you had looked at the 12 universal laws, you'd remember that everything in the universe is connected and interconnected. When you judge someone, it is the same as judging yourself. But we judge everything, don't we? I mean, everything. I remember once I was in a conference and I looked down at this woman and I thought to myself, oh my God, I cannot believe she has a tattoo on her ankle. How unprofessional. Guess who has a tattoo? on her ankle but I was judging her how ridiculous is that and we do it all the time we're a bit overweight but we're judging someone else oh my god she's such a fat pig we do it all the time I mean who do we blame the media this is me judging the media for that but what we what we really really want to do is to be mindful of the fact that we're judging everything and it's the same as judging ourselves and that is counterproductive so what would be better? But first, before we talk about what would be better, what kind of damage is caused? Damage is probably not the best word to use when we judge others. First and foremost, how does it feel when someone is judging you? It doesn't feel good, does it? It feels like, it feels uncomfortable. You start questioning yourself and then you start questioning that person as well. So you only have to think about the way it makes you feel when other people judge you to put a check on yourself and stop yourself from doing it. And I know it's easier said than done, because as I said, we judge everything. But knowing that it's not a productive thing to do should help us to think. And instead of judging someone for acting a particular way, looking a particular way, doing a particular thing, we need to stop and think about it. Are we helping that person by judging them? Are we helping ourselves? And if the answer is no, why do it? When we judge others, we can't learn from them. So an example would be you're at work and there's this employee who does really well at work and you absolutely hate that person. You think, oh, she's this, she's that, she's the other and so forth. But there's a reason that that person is as good as they are and judging them does not help you to learn from them. By appreciating that person for how good they are, that can help you progress in your career. So use that. Instead of judging it, appreciate it. Also, when we judge others, we're less open to new experiences in life. So a lot of us walk around with this superiority complex. We're looking down on people and thinking that we're better than them. And in fact, everyone has something to teach us when we interact with people. If we're more open-minded and accepting of others, we can learn from them. And that's exciting. Instead of looking down your nose at others, relax into it, listen, and you might be surprised. Judging is toxic to your health. If everything's connected and connected, and when we judge others, we're judging ourselves, what are you doing to yourself? Instead, stop in your tracks, accept that it's a toxic habit, and be more accepting. Carl Rogers encourages us to appreciate others the way we appreciate a rainbow. So when we see a rainbow, we're like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It is perfect. We don't say, oh my God, that rainbow has way too much orange and who told that rainbow it could get away with that yellow? No, we don't judge the rainbow. We appreciate it, which is like the opposite of judgment. And that's what we want to encourage ourselves to do. We want to learn to appreciate others. And that would lead us nicely into next week. We're looking at happiness. What's the key to happiness? Ah, looking forward to see you guys next week. Have a great week. As always, love always.